Welcome back to my playthrough of Hexen 2 as a necromancer on the Lich King difficulty played through FTEQW. In the previous video we started off at Black Marsh but now we are going into the Barbican so let's do this. So the first thing that will greet you is a sheep being hurled by a catapult. And that gives me an idea but first we're gonna fight this guy. And jib him. Just because we can. And now, we're gonna follow the sheep's lead. Whee! But you wanna stop here. Press S to stop your momentum. Pass by default. Or whatever key you have the backwards key bound to. Should help you grab this item right here. I'm gonna use it later. <laughs> For now, I'm going to kill. The spiders out here in this area. By the way, get a look at their bottoms. Doesn't that look familiar? Well, anyways, here are some more guys. Well, there's just an archer and two spiders, but we'll just get rid of them fairly easily. In an effort to save time and mana, or at least mana, I'm going to kill the both of these guys with the sickle and jib this guy. Eventually, jibbing will pay off. Trust me. You'd be glad that you did. Do it. Because we did get some blue mana out of it before, but... You'll see. Anyways, we're going to take that Quartz Blast and drink it. Because uh, Necromancer isn't exactly the toughest, uh, most durable of classes. But I find them the most fun. But anyways... There's a drawbridge that raises up, and here's some guys that try to distract you from the drawbridge, being risen up, or risen up. And we're just gonna jib this guy and break this, because we can. We picked up some combined mana, which will be very useful, but, uh... We're gonna use it immediately, as a matter of fact, because this thing right here... ...needs to be destroyed immediately. Just look at that. They blind you with their ink. Ain't having none of that. No siree. And we aren't really going down into that area for now. Instead, we're going to go up here, breathe a little bit, and break through here. Now we can grab both of these. You can surface up here if you want, but... Uh, you don't really have to unless you really want water or want to be water free. You can surface up here, same reason, but uh, you can actually go into here after breaking the wall, kill some of these spiders that are really annoying, and grab these two quartz flasks. And also, you can read this. Before the Dark One stormed the castle, I sealed the old tower. Whatever, nerd. We're going to unseal the old tower eventually. But first things first, we're going to get rid of all these guys. And look, we got green mana out of that one. And we're going to get... the boots of speed from this chest. We're going to turn on the lights again, because it's a little dark in here. Take a sip of the sippy juice and jib this guy. And grab all this stuff. Which is nice to have. Also in here is the loo. Yeah, if you go back down there, you'll go to where we picked up crystal vials before. Also leads back into the whole main area that we've been through. But whatever. But now let's cast magic missile. And look, he dropped blue mana, how nice. Now let's cast Magic Missile at this thing. And break it with the sickle. Nice. Speaking of Magic Missiles, here's some more. But, uh, ain't gonna use that until I've killed this guy. And his friend. I'll take a sip of the sippy juice. Grab these crystal vials too. 
Kill this guy. Quickly. And jib him. Jib you too. Everybody gets jibbed. This is a Quake Engine game. Anyways, we're gonna break all these. And these two. Get all this stuff. And if you want, you can take a swim down here again. Because there's a Chaos Device here. Just nice to have. And you can go back here to see that the drawbridge is still risen up. Because this is where the drawbridge is supposed to be. Let's lower it for future reference. So now we're going to go over here and grab some more mana. Because why not? Grab some stuff here too. Also because why not? Might as well break this because we can go into here and cast Magic Missile at this guy. And jib him. We activated a drawbridge. Wonderful. And look, here's a Tome of Power. Yeah, you get tomes of power in this game. They're back. And look, the drawbridge is down because we broke this and we flipped that switch back there. Everything's all set up for the most part, but there's one thing we need to still do. And I'll show you it when we get to it. In the meantime, we're just gonna break stuff for the sake of breaking it because we're the necromancer, we're evil. <laughs> Let's also go down here and break this, get some disc from there, and now let's use the Tome of Power with the magic missiles. Yeah, that guy in the more golden looking armor is a lot tougher than his buddies, so keep an eye out for him. Anyways, we're gonna break this. Stand back while you do. You might have to use ranged weapons if you aren't too careful. But it's all worth it because you might get some pickups out of it. Anyways, let's move one of these barrels along because I'm not too confident in my jumping skills without this barrel. Physics. Now we're gonna go over here and destroy this jerk. We're doing this part so basically to future-proof this area. We're gonna kill the spider that he spawned from dying. And look, we got a healing vial from his corpse. And now we're gonna break this and open this up so we can get these bracers and go through here. Nice, isn't it? Well, aside from that, we're gonna go over here now. See this symbol? Looks look kind of Celtic in appearance. Well, it leads to this area. And when you step over here, you're in control. Yes, now we get the fire ballista at these guys. You want to stay in this area and shoot at the tower. Yeah, the old tower that's sealed. We're destroying it. Because we're evil. <laughs> Anyways, now that we destroyed the tower, we got the bracers, we're gonna just jump down here very casually. And destroy this guy with evil magic missiles. <laughs> right, so now that we've destroyed the tower, the old tower that was sealed off, we grab some more mana here, and check this corpse out. He is just vibing. Not anymore. Let's go through here and grab the Tome of Power, the Mill Key, and the Chaos Device. It didn't take fall damage. Interesting. But that's fine. That's more than fine. I'd rather not take any damage when falling. But since we have the Mill Key, we are pretty much done with this section. But we'll be back here in the next video for sure, because there's something else we need to do in this part. But we're done for now, so let's go to the mill. But before we do that, we have some enemies to kill with the magic missiles. There we go. And now we can open this up for future reference, so we don't have to use the catapult to go across it because the catapult was the only way to get across there. 
but we're done with uh, this map, so let's get ready to go to the next one. Alright, the next one we want to go to is all the way up here. And back into this area, this outdoor area with the sheep. And right here is the mill. So stay tuned for the next video where we go into the mill. But until then, toodaloo.